Hi, I'm Liam, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to select columns from a Polar's data frame. This lesson is an extract from my course and workshop on switching from Pandas to Polar's. Selecting columns one, basic selections. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to select a column with square bracket indexing, select a column with the select method and the expression API, and select and transform a column. So we'll start off now with the standard imports. We import Polar's SPL, we create the path to our Titanic CSV file, and we create a data frame from that CSV file. We're gonna start by selecting columns with square brackets. So we can select a column with a string in square brackets, and the output is a series. Here we have our data frame, and we have the square brackets and a column name for age, and we just wanna print the first three rows, and we do so and we see that the output here is a series with 64-bit floating point type. We can also select a column with a list of strings, and of course in this case the output is a data frame. So in this case we have a data frame, and the list of strings is survived and age, and if we run this, we get a data frame with three rows and two columns, survived and age. Now there's more on selecting rows and our columns with square brackets in the user guide, but the focus here is going to be on how, to, how we do this using the select method and the expression API. So we can select a single column using the select method if we pass a string. So in this case here, we again have our data frame df. We call the select method and we just pass it a string, which is one of the column names, and print out the first three rows. Notice that the output here of this select method is always a data frame, even if there's just one column. If you did want the output, of this to be a series when there's only one column you can do the same code so data frame dot select age and call the dot, dot two series method on it to get the output as a series of course we can select multiple columns with a list and using select and we do that like like this so we have a data frame we call the select method and we pass a list of strings and of course the output has two columns survived and age now more interestingly we can select a column using an expression inside the select method. We start off with a basic example here. We have our data frame df, we call select on it, and we use pl.call to pick a column, and the column we pick is the age column. This will do something similar to what we saw before and give us a data frame with three rows and one column. And we'll see later how selecting a column with an expression allows us to transform the column before returning it. So what are the differences between square bracket indexing and using the expression API? Some of this is similar to using the filter method in that square bracket indexing can only be used in eager mode, but select can also be used in lazy mode. Expressions in select can also be optimized in lazy mode by the query optimizer. And we'll see an example of that below. And an important further point is that when you have multiple expressions inside a select statement, polars can run these in parallel. Now we'll look at what happens when we want to select and transform a column with an expression in select. So here we are going to select the fair column. So again, we start with our data frame df, we call the select method, and we choose the fair column using pl.call on fair. However, in this case, we're not just gonna output the fair column as it is, but we're gonna transform it by rounding it to zero decimal places. If we look at the output, we see here that we have actually rounded the output of the fair column off to zero decimal places. Now we're going to see many more examples where we use expressions to transform data as we go through the course. So that's it for this extract. Use the links below to follow me on Twitter to learn more about my upcoming workshops and courses.